And we are back in the Stone Creek Kitchen with executive chef Brian Fierstein. He's from the new Union Barrel House, and you guys are opening early next year. It'll so be in January. Get ready. Tell us where you're located. We're in Old Town Scottsdale, so it's. Um, it's on the corner, of, basically between First Street and Second Street on Scottsdale. All right, I want to describe for you what it smells like right now. What Brian has done in this kitchen. If you could take Thanksgiving, Christmas, put it in a bottle, that's what it smells like. Okay, yeah. we've got cinnamon and we've got yeah, pears. Yeah, it's a really great oh, take it's on. Just a, yeah, it just smells so good in here. What so, I would want to eat for a peanut butter. And yeah. Jelly, so. I agree. I agree. So, so what do we do? We're going to start with some really nicely lo made local artisan sourdough bread, and we're going to just butter it. So just butter and spread it on. If you are going to be doing this on like a nonstick griddle, this is the best way to do it: is just mm -hmm. to butter the bread directly. If you were not going to use nonstick, say you know you had a, um, you know, not a nonstick pan or a nonstick griddle, you would want to just put the butter directly in the pan. But this way, you don't use as much butter as you would if you put. You know, a big old glop of butter. And what into type the of pan. bread did you say? This is sourdough. This is just Ooh. a really thick cut artisan sourdough. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go right into our into our pan and we we wanna do this again over low heat just to kind of let it build up and toast. So that'll get a nice toast to it. Our pears are done, so they've come to a boil, and you wanna let them basically cool in the broth. So you pull it off the heat and you just let them sit. And once they sit and cool, you wind up with these really Deeply purple colored. Oh, beautiful. And tell pears. Me, remind folks again what you put in that. So it's just it. red wine, a cinnamon stick, and cloves. Perfect. That's it. Nothing else. Um, the natural sugars of the pear basically sweetens the wine, mm -hmm. and, and you're good. So we have our wheel right here of baby brie. Uh, this is a double cream brie. You can find this at any grocery store. All right, I have to have you pause. You've got to check out this knife. I mean, we very rarely talk about the, the tell us how, this is gorgeous. Yeah, so this is a, a knife that was given to me as a gift. It's uh, handmade in Japan, so it's a really oh, nice it is little, beautiful. it's made by a, a, an old gentleman in Japan. Oh, well, it's beautiful. It's been with you for years, and I'm sure you make amazing dishes with it. Absolutely. So we have our brie, and when you get the brie, it comes with a natural rind on it. You want to take the rind off for, you know, you, basically any purpose you want. You would take it off. Just Take your knife and just scrape right along the top, and that rind comes. Thank you for showing that. I always wonder. Right off. The it's the easiest. Way. The easiest yeah. way to do it is like that. Just be careful. If your knife is too sharp, it may cut into the brie, and you can do both sides and just do around the edges of the brie this way. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna cut the brie into and you get that. And this is the B in the P, B, and J. Absolutely. By the way, the P is the pear, the B is the brie. So, and the, along with the bacon, if you pop this in the freezer for about 15 minutes, you know, you don't want to freeze the cheese because it'll definitely change the texture of it, but if you pop it in the freezer for about 15 minutes, it'll harden enough to where the brie doesn't stick to your knife. If you don't okay. do that, the brie is, a, you know, a really soft, ripened cheese that'll start to stick to the sides of your knife. So if you just do that, you have no problems with the knife sticking. It's not my knife. It's not that fancy. It's just, it's just because I popped <laughs> See, we it in the were, we were putting it on the knife. Well, um, so then we're going to go ahead and put our brie down in our pan, and it'll melt. And it, you know, you, with brie, it's not going to take a, whole, a lot of time to melt. But okay. when we come back at the end, it'll be ready to go. So we have our arugula right here, and this is just wild arugula. A lot of the wild arugula is actually grown in, uh, locally in Wilcox. Some of it comes out of California, but this happens to be grown locally in Arizona. And we're going to take a little bit of our bacon jam that's just at room temperature. So this is the jam we made earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it cooled and, and um, we processed it in the food processor. So you have a really nice, almost looks like a jelly or jam yeah. consistency. And you're just going to ladle or drizzle a little bit over the greens. You want to make sure that it's at room temperature. If the jam is hot, it's going to really just it's wilt, gonna wilt, wilt the, the greens yeah. away. And you really just want a nice, light little coating and you know get your hands in there like the you know the first segment yeah. you got to get your hands in you got to get your hands, your hands in um, it's the best way you know to do food to cook anything is get your hands dirty you can wash your hands right okay, and there's absolutely. really no issues with that so the arugula will just reserve for the next round and we okay. have our pears um, and I forgot I just dumped in the salt you really want to season your greens with just a little bit of, of kosher salt, salt or, sea, or sea salt if you don't have sea salt Wow! just to get a nice little little accent of I tell you Brian is teasing us we're building the anticipation I'm ready to bite into this sandwich he's like just hold off now we're gonna be getting to that in just we, a bit we will be. well I love it he's blowing our minds this morning and we are so excited about the big grand opening coming in January so we have one more step right after That's this it. then we can taste test